Hello everyone, this is your instructor for Robert Tool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So, in this video, since we are looking the uses of hexadecimal numbers in computing and up till now we have covered three uses that are color codes, uh, memory dumps and MAC addresses and now here we are going to see the ASCII codes and their representation in terms of hexadecimal numbers. So, what are ASCII codes? Um, first of all, you must know that while using keyboards, in a keyboard, we have different characters, right? We have different keys. We have um, different symbols, different keys, different, uh, you know, commands like shift, enter, home, uh, escape, right? So we have different keys in a keyboard and each particular character or particular key is being represented in an ASCII code, right? We have a particular ASCII code for this particular character that is inside the keyboard, right? So, for example, I have, um, let's suppose I have question mark, I have hash, I have shift button, I have enter key, right? So I have characters like A, G, uh, I, we have different symbols. So these particular characters in a keyboard represents an ASCII code for them, right? And these ASCII codes are also represented in the form of hexadecimal numbers. For example, uh, there is a complete table for you. You can see it in your book of 2210, right? Uh, it is uh, given in your Cambridge IGCSE computer science book that is written by David Watson and Helen Williams. So you can find out a complete table of ASCII codes with respect to each character, right? So here, for example, I have certain characters. I have chosen some, some uh, characters just to explain you that for these characters, we have ASCII codes and these ASCII codes can be represented in terms of hexadecimal numbers. Let's suppose I have a question mark then this question mark in terms of hexadecimal number is represented as 3f right let's suppose i have hash then it is represented as 23 23 right let's suppose i have a shift button then this shift button will definitely be having some particular hexadecimal number this will be having hexadecimal number this will be a g i for example i have i then the i would be equal to 49 right in terms of hexadecimal number so this is what this is the hexadecimal representation of ascii codes right so this is how the ascii codes can be represented in terms of hexadecimal digits right so the most common example of ascii codes that are being represented in terms of hexadecimal numbers is the web pages sorry web addresses how let's suppose i have a web address Mm, www dot hoarder dot cu dot uk right let's suppose i have this web address or i can say it a url you know what is a url a url is basically a uniform resource uh locator yes uniform resource locator right this is a url that defines a particular website on an internet right so uh this web address can be represented in terms of binary sorry in terms of hexadecimal 
using the hexadecimal ascii values for them let's suppose i have a complete table you can see that table in your book and in that table i have the hexadecimal numbers or hexadecimal equivalence of these particular characters like for example w is equal to 57 right and h is equal to mm i think it is 48 so you can better go and see into your book because it is a very big table and i cannot uh, display that particular table here so let me show you the book so you can just have an understanding of it so this is the book and this is the table that i am telling you this is um the decimal the hexadecimal and the character these are the characters of the keyboard right space um exclamatory sign double commas then hash then dollar sign and these are what these are the hexadecimals and the decimal equivalent values for them right so this is the ascii table and for this www.hooder.co.uk we have just saw the particular values of w let's suppose the value of w here is 57 so i have just converted this particular web address by looking the hexadecimal values here in terms of the hexadecimal numbers right so let me just write it as for w i have sorry for w i have since it's a smaller character right it's not a capital w it's a small w so it is not it's not 57 it is basically 77 you have different numbers for capital characters and for small cases right you have different ascii codes and for a small h i have in the table it is equal to 68 right so i can just find out the values in the table and i can write the uh hexadecimal equivalent as 77w again 77 again 77 and just writing a percentage in order to tell you that it is in a hexadecimal number system right it is just a uh, uh, representation it doesn't mean anything this percentage sign then we have 2e then we have 6 8 so this is how i have just uh, found the hexadecimal value in the ascii table for each of these characters like if i have a dot then this dot is basically 2e right so in this way i can just convert the particular website web address into a hexadecimal number right so i hope that this ascii codes are clear to you and now i am just going to share a past paper example with you so that it will be very clear to you and this is a very simple example let me share it with you okay so here we go this is the example of october november 2018 paper right what it says each letter in ascii can also be represented as a hexadecimal value right the word key has a 8 bit binary value this is key k e y right we have three characters so each character is represented in form of 8 bit binary values and what we need to do just convert it into hexadecimal right so this is a simple ascii example so what we need to have we need to have a hexa to binary conversion table right so let's suppose we have 16 hexadecimal digits that are 0 1 2 3 4 up till f right i am not going to make the complete table you just go and see into your book and 
just please memorize this table because it is very important for you in your exams right so this is how you can convert these hexadecimal digits in four bit binary numbers right so this is a table and f is finally one 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 so since i know the values so i can better convert it out right so for k what i will do k i have zero one zero zero one zero one one so i am going to make pairs of sorry groups of four binary bits this is my lower group of binary bits and this is my uh, upper group so 1011 in this table i am going to see 1011 will be somewhere here and this is equal to b if i'm not wrong 1010 is equal to a and similarly 1011 is equal to b so this is b and 0100 will be 4 right so this is the hexadecimal equivalent of k for b similarly we have e 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 so we are going to make the groups of four binary bits right you can see my conversion video if you are not clear about it in that conversion video hexa to binary conversion i have better discussed it so the value is 0 1 0 0 uh, that is 4 in terms of hexadecimal and e uh, sorry 0 1 0 1 is equal to 5 so 4 5 is the hexadecimal equivalent of this 8 bit binary then for y i have 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 that is for this upper 4 bits I have 5 and 1001 is equal to 9. Yes. So this is for y I have 59. Right. So these are the hexadecimal values or the ASCII values in terms of hexadecimal number for these particular characters K, E, Y. Right. So this is how we have solved this problem and these kind of questions can come into your exam so i think this video is clear to you and if you have any query any problem you can comment below i will definitely be going to help you in that and thank you so much for watching it please share subscribe and like the channel and share it with other students so that we can all study together right so thank you so much for watching it in the next video i am going to share another use of hexadecimal numbers and these are basically the assembly codes and the machine codes how you are going to use hexadecimal numbers over there right so thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video for then please take care and bye bye